Ah, the dance of time brings us to a place where memories mingle with celluloid dreams. Imagine a sun-soaked afternoon, the salty breeze caressing your cheeks as you lose yourself in the world of cinema. Among the tapestry of stories, one stands as a timeless testament to the magic of first encounters. The year was 1959, and the screen whispered tales of a summer place. Can you recall that initial flicker of anticipation, the tingle of curiosity, as you embarked on a journey into the lives of tangled hearts set against the backdrop of a pristine coastal haven? Perhaps it was the delicate notes of the film's score that etched themselves into your soul, forever associating them with stolen glances and stolen summers. What moments from this classic romance have you carried with you? Was it the raw emotions that stirred your empathy or the sweeping panoramas that made you yearn for your own slice of paradise? Picture yourself in that moment once more, the taste of buttered popcorn, the hushed whispers, the shared smiles that made the cinema feel like home. And now, as we wade deeper into the waters of memory, allow me to illuminate the stage with some random facts about this cinematic gem. Let's peel back the curtain and uncover the anecdotes that paint the canvas of a summer place with hues of intrigue and wonder. Did you know that the film's lush setting, Maine's picturesque coast, was brought to life on California's shores? Ah, the magic of Hollywood's sleight of hand. And those performances that tugged at heartstrings, they almost went to different hands altogether, shaping the narrative in unforeseen ways. As the reel unspools further, you'll find yourself immersed in a world where passion collides with societal norms, and where love's unpredictability reigns supreme. So, without further ado, let's embark on this journey of discovery through the annals of a summer place, where celluloid dreams become our reality for a fleeting moment. Released in 1959, A Summer Place is a classic film directed by Delmer Daves that explores the complexities of love, class, and societal norms against the backdrop of a scenic coastal setting. Adapted from Sloan Wilson's novel, the movie revolves around the romantic entanglements of two families vacationing at a seaside resort. The film's iconic characters, Molly and Johnny, portrayed by Sandra Dee, and Troy Donahue navigate the challenges of their parents' past romance, as well as their own budding relationship, which defies the societal norms of the time. The movie's unique style lies in its ability to delicately depict the emotional conflicts of its characters, while juxtaposing them with the serene beauty of the oceanfront setting. This duality creates a poignant atmosphere that highlights the tension between personal desires and societal expectations. With its lush cinematography and evocative musical score, A Summer Place weaves a tale that is both visually captivating and emotionally resonant. The impact of A Summer Place on popular culture is significant. It captured the essence of the era's societal shifts and values, shedding light on issues such as infidelity, teenage romance, and the tension between generations. The film's portrayal of forbidden love and its exploration of the consequences of societal judgment helped pave the way for more nuanced storytelling in Hollywood. The performances of the lead actors also contributed to the film's enduring appeal, making them heartthrobs of their time. In summary, A Summer Place is a timeless film that skillfully intertwines love, drama, and societal commentary. Its iconic characters, picturesque setting, and exploration of complex themes have left an indelible mark on cinema and popular culture, allowing it to resonate with audiences for generations. Troy Donahue and Dorothy McGuire, a fateful connection in a summer place in the annals of cinematic history. Certain films become more than just celluloid stories. They intertwine with the lives of their cast in unexpected ways. The 1959 movie A Summer Place, a tale of love and societal norms set on an island off Maine, exemplifies this uncanny connection. While the on-screen drama unfolded, fate seemed to entwine its cast members off-screen. The film's leading man, Troy Donahue, portrayed Johnny Hunter, a character caught in a web of family secrets and forbidden romance. But it was the mysteries of life that would connect Donahue's destiny with that of his co-star Dorothy Medeir, who portrayed Sylvia Hunter. In a strange sequence of events, Donahue's final breath was drawn on September 2, 2001, in Santa Monica, Cal. Astonishingly, a mere 11 days later, on September 13, 2001, McGuire took her last bow in the same coastal city. Their connection, it seems, extended beyond the silver screen. The allure of a summer place extended beyond its storyline. While the movie's setting was an island off the coast of Maine, 
its real-life filming location was far from the rugged shores of the Atlantic. Nestled near Carmel, California, the picturesque backdrop not only framed the drama but also witnessed a phenomenon. Donahue, at the zenith of his fame, found himself the epicenter of a frenzy. The town, overrun by star-struck and mirrors primarily young girls, painted a scene reminiscent of Hollywood hysteria. Interestingly, a summer place wove another strand into the tapestry of Donahue's career. Three years after the film's release, Donahue and fellow cast member Constance Ford found themselves united again in the 1962 movie Rome Adventure. Ford, who portrayed Helen Jorgensen in A Summer Place, became the owner of the American bookstore in Rome in the latter film. It was there that Susan Plachette's character found employment, and love blossomed in the form of Donahue's character. Intriguingly, as the sands of time shift, the legacy of A Summer Place endures not only in the reels, but in the interwoven stories of its cast. From the island of Maine to the coastal charm of California, the movie's journey took unexpected turns just like the lives of the characters it immortalized. Max Steiner's melodic magic, musical parallels in A Summer Place in the enchanting world of the 1959 film A Summer Place, where passions surge beneath the sun-soaked veneer of a tranquil island escape. A musical connection bridges two iconic films. As the dulcet tones of Max Steiner's famous score envelop the audience, Sandra Dee's character imparts the plot of King Kong to Troy Donahue, a moment of cinematic symmetry. What adds a remarkable layer to this interplay is the fact that Max Steiner, the composer behind the evocative melodies of A Summer Place, had also orchestrated the score for the original King Kong. This subtle nod to Steiner's own legacy offers a glimpse into the interconnected tapestry of Hollywood's golden era, where creative talents interwove across projects, leaving their indelible mark on cinematic history. A Summer Place not only weaves a narrative of love, and longing but also serves as a bridge between Max Steiner's musical achievements, elevating the film's emotional resonance. As the film unfolds against a backdrop of forbidden romance, another intriguing aspect comes to light. The original novel's expansive timeline, spanning two decades and encompassing varied phases in the characters' lives, finds itself streamlined within the confines of a single year in the film adaptation. This compression lends the story a heightened sense of urgency, intensifying the emotions that surge between the characters. While a summer place transported viewers into a realm of passion and turmoil, it also showcased the versatility of its cast. Notably, Richard Egan, a mere 38 years old at the time, was cast in a middle-aged role, demonstrating his ability to embody characters with depth and Gravitas beyond his years. This casting choice attests to Egan's prowess and the casting director's foresight in recognizing his range. In the sun-dappled realm of a summer place, where love and yearning intertwine, the harmonious strains of Max Steiner's melodies serve as a poignant reminder of cinematic connections. The film's ability to distill the essence of characters' lives into a single year, coupled with its astute casting choices, cements its place as a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences, bridging the past and the present with each melodious note. Powerful speech in 1,959 seconds, a summer place earned standing ovation and a remarkable cinematic moment. Richard Egan's portrayal of Ken's impassioned speech against bigotry in the 1959 movie A Summer Place evoked an immediate standing ovation from a packed audience at Radio City Music Hall. Egan's performance struck a chord, his heartfelt words resonating with the viewers, igniting a powerful response. The film, directed by Delmer Daves and based on Sloan Wilson's novel, dared to confront social issues, with Egan's character challenging his wife's prejudiced views. The genuine and stirring delivery of this speech not only showcased Egan's acting prowess, but also demonstrated the film's impact in addressing pertinent matters of the era. As the story unfolds against the backdrop of a scenic summer retreat, a summer place delves into the complexities of love, societal expectations, and personal growth. Egan's remarkable moment highlighted the film's willingness to tackle important themes, drawing the audience into a narrative that continues to resonate. The film also almost witnessed a different casting choice. The role of Molly, a key character, was initially offered to Natalie Wood, a Hollywood luminary known for her versatility. Regrettably, Wood turned down the role, a decision she would later express remorse for. While the part eventually went to actress Sandra Dee, Wood's potential presence could have added a different dimension to the movie's dynamics. 
a summer place remains a hallmark of 1950s cinema, remembered not only for its alluring portrayal of summer romance, but also for its courage in addressing societal prejudices. Egan's unforgettable speech and the near casting of Natalie Wood stand as testaments to the film's enduring impact, capturing the essence of an era and the power of cinematic storytelling. As the sun sets on our cinematic journey through the sands of time, we find ourselves still basking in the warm glow of 1,959 seconds a summer place. Just as the waves leave their imprints on the shore, this movie has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of our hearts. Its echoes linger in the gentle rustling of leaves on a lazy afternoon, and its characters continue to dance in the corridors of our minds. As you take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this timeless classic, let the memories and emotions wash over you like the waves upon that idyllic summer beach. Perhaps it's a scene that resonates with your own fleeting moments of love, or the soundtrack that accompanies your most cherished memories. Maybe it's the subtle reminder that life, like the tides, is ever-changing, yet certain things remain constant in their beauty. Now, I invite you to share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, the emotions that this masterpiece has stirred within you. Let your words become a part of the collective tale that celebrates the impact of a summer place on countless lives. Your perspective, like a unique seashell on the shore, adds to the diverse collection of experiences that make this movie even richer. Thank you for taking this journey with me, for delving into the nostalgia and emotion that a summer place evokes. Your time and your reflections are treasures that keep the legacy of this film alive, a testament to the power of storytelling across generations. Warm regards and appreciation.